my heart. The hustle's in my nature. There's hustle in my roots. There's customers on my radar. I ain't referring to any sort of misdemeanor, but I guess we're all heading to a place where the grass is greener. There's fire in my belly. I'm fired up. Okay, I'm ready so here's to the street shoot. Seekers, my self courts. We've got the Blackwater Money family involved. Yes, sir. We're here with the illustrious Clement Marfa on the front line. Yes, sir. How's it been, man? What's everything, going on, man? Everything's well, man. Everything's, everything's well. Nice. Yeah, everything's blossoming. Blossoming, actually. It's just yeah. come off. Got tour dates just finished. Yeah, we've done a lot of gigs like over the year. You know yeah. what I mean? So, you know, we've been supporting like some Plan B, um, Example, Chili Bang, Florence and Machine. Machines. How was yeah. that being seeing yourself on stage with names like Florence and Machine? <laughs> Big man, she's selling millions of copies of like around the world, you know what I mean? And we're from we're from a small area of southwest London, so like to be supporting the likes of her and the likes of all these people is a good great little thing. spectrum of music, you know what I mean, from from hip hop to pop to rock to to reggae and soul, everything. So my vision was like when I wanted to hook up with a band, it was kind of like a vibe where we're gonna do commercial music, you know what I mean, and it's not gonna be pop cheesy stuff. It's gonna be real to ourselves, and it's gonna be um, very kind of um, it's gonna be very balanced in a way where we still got that street street vibe, but we still keep it quite mainstream as well, and that's what we're trying to do. What genre would you put your music in? Would you put your music in a set genre? Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to do that, you know? Would it really put Because there's, there's seven, there's, there's there's seven, seven, seven there's seven of us, and we're all very, very different. Like, the drummer's into his heavy metal, the uh, keyboard, um, Stacey, she's into our pop punk as well. So, like, we all kind of like mix our genres of music. But in a nutshell, we always just go by hip hop, pop, rock. It's a good sure. question, but a lot of people ask us that. Like, how does it get along? Like, how do we all get along as seven? different characters and stuff, but we're all, we're all the same age group, we're all from like the same cultural backgrounds and stuff, so we kind of get the plan. When we wrote a song called Champion, it's like the bars are set. in the video how did you what did you feel like making the actual song you know everyone's got their own opinion of their how it relates to them but how did it relate to you um we 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 worked on this track with uh two producers called matt master and rob wells uh okay. american and canadian uh, producers and um they gave us a backing track and they had these trumpets okay. and um do you know what i mean i remember we, we kind of that was a time during that fight with um there was a fight with uh, David Hay yeah, yeah. and this massive giant, I can't remember the name. Kit, Kit Scott. It was called David and Goliath. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see the David and Goliath. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the name, he's got a weird name. Weird, yeah, but I remember the time David Hay was fighting and everyone in the UK was kind of like, you know, championing him kind of thing. So I remember when we had that instrument and I was like, this song reminds me of Rocky, do you know what yeah, I mean? And yeah. like, it should be for a box or something. So I remember that day he had that fight and he was like, you know, imagine making a song for his entrance, entrance feed, yeah. you know, and that the lyrics came out of the studio, like, I'm feeling 10 feet tall, yeah. unstoppable, I'm the champion, and you know what I mean, like, since then, you know what I mean, like, we've been getting a lot of love. Next, what's next for the front line, really, what's coming up? Um, just recently, this week, I um, released a track called Overtime, Future of Gets. I'm doing overtime, so keep the work coming. I refuse to socialize with those who earn nothing. Listen and keep an open mind. You can learn something. You're relying on the wife. You go inside a purse bombing. Me, I'm out the door before you hear the birds humming. I'm on the curbs running like I'm trying to keep fit. Now I'm on the curb doesn't what I make it to your I remember our label was just like, like who do you want to, 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 produce, to produce the video? Mm -hmm. And um, I love that because they're giving us creative control. So they're not giving like, you a lot of control over your own music as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, totally. So it's like, that's very supportive. You know, some labels just be like, no, we're going to do this, go with the plan, kind of thing. Yeah. But, you know, Moonrunners, I've been following this stuff for years and stuff, and it's a good look that we hooked up. And um, yeah, man, it's got 8,000 views on YouTube. Already as well. Any future work between yourself and likes of Gets or Moonrunners? Um, yeah, like, I think. I think, you know what I mean, we've got our next track called Mayhem. This is an exclusive for you guys. Okay. Street Seekers exclusive. <laughs> you heard it here first. 
But we've got this track called Mayhem that's coming out next, and uh, it's produced by Ishi, who produced um, Written in the Stars for Time to Time as well. Okay. Um, he did um, Game Over for Tinchy Strider. Okay. So it's a very big track. Very so big track, and we've got a special guest on it. And uh, that's not going to be announced yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You got, you got to keep. You know what I mean? You got to well, keep. Well, by the way, just blur it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After the cut, after the after the yeah. after it stops. You know what I mean? But, so that was that was headlined to be a big one. And yeah, that's that should be coming out late this year or early early 2012. The hustle's in my heart. The hustle's in my nature. There's hustle in my roots. There's customers on my radar. I ain't referring to any sort of misdemeanor But I guess we're all heading to a place where the grass is greener There's fire in my belly, I'm fired up, I'm ready To carry out any mission that's not of the ordinary Do what's most necessary, there's not men that can command me Unless you compare me to those who are legendary I'm built like a machine Do you know I mean? We love performing, that's why we're like a, we're a band People mistake, like mistake the whole kind of Marvel and the front line identity we're just too front man. You know what I mean? It's, we're, we're a hip hop rock band. And it's like, uh, there's five other members. You know? We've got keys, guitars, bass, uh, what do I so, Drums, drums. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, um, when we go on stage, we just love it. We love performing. You know what I mean? Would you feel of each other's buzz? Buzz must be obviously, because it's all new for all of you as well. So we must just be pushing each other along. As yeah. You know, as it's, it's a whole different energy compared to the. To us, just having a chill, just kicking back. But once we hit that stage, it's like we're feeling off each other, we're feeling off the audience, and we're just giving like 200 percent every single time. Yeah. You still get time then to maybe have a little jam together. You still come together to play the instruments where it's not so. You yeah, haven't got a track or a deadline. Just play for the fun of it. You still get a good time like that. Do you know, I like deadlines because it keeps you pressure. Yeah, the pressure is good. good. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it gets the best out of you. Kind of thing, but uh, we've written 60 songs, man. Which I mean, like, work four. rate is high. Yeah, work rate is crazy. So, we're like, we've written this for our debut album, which is going to come out summer 2012. Okay. So, we've got a lot of songs that's kind of, um, kind of like in the works of stuff. And, and, but yeah, we do, we do chill out, we hang out, you know what I mean? We're like a big family at the end of the day. But when we go in the studio, it's all kind of like focused and we've got to get us. Exactly. So, how, what about Warner Brothers? Have they helped you to push that more professional? Are they just been supportive really behind you 100%? They've been really supportive because before we were signed, the way we was behaving as a collective was like we're like, a, we're like a mini record label, like independent record label. Like the way we would operate is as if, as if like, do you know what I mean? Like we can do this by ourselves, do you know what I mean? But we got to a point where it's like you can't reach out to the masses, do you know what I mean? By by your own physical way, do you know what I mean? It's like it's hard for you to do that. You need you need a backing behind you. And um, at the time when we was getting a buzz, we had Champion out. Champion was featured on Street Dance three uh, D, the movie that came you out. Had the parquet runners as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that and, was, that and that was getting a buzz. So a lot of labels were content, contacting our management and were saying, like, you know, we would love to we would have to check these guys out. We want to see a showcase and mm -hmm. stuff. And then um, obviously Warner, Warner Brothers is a massive corporate name, you know, and um, they offered us the right deal, they offered us, you know what I mean, like the acts that they've got, do you know what I mean? They're massive names underneath the Massive names. Names. Big names. Big and names. They opened up that whole sort of catalogue to you to say, yeah, they jump on board really. Jump, yeah, pretty much. And it's kind of like everything, they, they love how we behave as a, as a collective because we're very active. Like just today, we got confirmed that we're uh, ones to watch by MTV. Okay. Um, ourselves and uh, artists called Angel. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great look for us, you know what I mean? And I d obviously, I feel like we could have done that ourselves in a way, but we got so far. It just got a lot that push. Yeah. Do you know what, personally, like, on a real, like, as an MC, as a rapper, I don't think I would have got to this position where I am right now. I don't think I would have been in Warner mm -hmm. building, do you know what I mean? I probably would have been still trying to push up our mixtapes and stuff. We aim to make timeless classics that appeals to a wide demographic. We take it out of the planet, uprooted from the earth, something raw and organic. It's not hard to understand like an automatic. And if you don't get it, then tweak your antenna. They say I resemble the fella from Rockefeller. I'm far from generic, I'm far from irregular. Keep it so original, like a trendsetter. There's not many competitors I'm ever so confident to rep from my continent. I'm looking for a compliment. When we break through, we're coming to America, breaking down the barriers and repping for our area. They call us the UK version of the Black Eyed Peas. 
gym class heroes or NERD The spotlight's on me, I'm Muhammad Ali I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee You know what I mean? Streetseekers.com Black water money gap Street, 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 street